I have another product from the company Cook and Escape that I want to share with you today. This is their mountaintop pot made in titanium. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. All right, before we get started, just two things. First, I want to thank King Camp for sending out the Cook and Escape mountaintop pot so that I could share it with you. So this is the second item from Cook and Escape that King Camp has sent me for review. And uh, yeah, well, what we're going to do, of course, is bring the camera down a little closer so that you can get some detailed looks at it. And I'll give you a few specifications and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. All right, let's start with just a few specifications for the mountaintop pot. So the volume of this pot is 66 fluid ounces or 1950 milliliters, just under two liters. Diameter is 6.4 inches, 163 millimeters. Height top to bottom, four inches, 100 millimeters. And weighs in at 11.2 ounces or 318 grams. Now I'll just go over a few of the features of the pot, most of which are very common on a lot of pots, but there is one on this that makes it a little bit different. So to start with, it does have a stand-up bale. Yes, Yes, it does move back and forth a little bit, but it's not going to collapse on you. That movement is just between the detents where the bale is, is held up right there. So that's quite okay. Now, on the side are a pair of butterfly handles. They're very small. I have some comments about those in a minute, but they're, you know, they work. It's just not what I would call ideal. So those things are what is common to most pots, but here's one, the thing that's different, and that is the lid. Let me just take the lid off and show it to you. So the lid has a fold over handle, which will, once you get it out, lock in place and it becomes a fry pan. So yeah, that's a, a little bit different. And you can see I have been using it at a fry pan. By the way, if you weren't aware, you can get a seasoning on titanium. Eh, you know, we can talk about frying with titanium a little bit, but that is in fact a seasoning on top. It will still burn if you're not careful, uh, but the seasoning does help a little bit. So I did do, like I said, I've been using it for a fry pan and that's kind of cool. Now, the other thing is, look at the shape of this. That has that recess allows this pot to be used for something else. And that is an oven. So in fact, I am going to be cooking my lunch with this today using this pot as an oven. And I'll demonstrate that when it gets to my lunch time. Now, the only other features that I want to share on this pot is that it does have a form spout. Not a very big one, just a tiny form spout right here. Enough that it can control the flow, of course. And it does have graduated markings inside, but boy, are they ever faint. Let me see if I can show. You can see them on the outside right here. They are only in uh, metric. They're not in imperial as well. And you can miss them quite easily. But once you know they're there, then if you need to measure your volumes in your pot, you can do so. All right, there's not a lot more to show you on this. Oh, I did say I'd make comment on the butterfly handles, and I may as well do that now. So, yes, they will function. It's just that if this is full, this is going to be a little hard to pour. And if it's hot, I can get two fingers. Well, I can barely, I can kind of get three fingers in there. And uh, the bale stands up and won't go all the way past back because it does have a stop right here. So you can use two hands to pour from this if you want to do it that way. The only thing I'm going to say is that I would have preferred on a pot, because I have it on another pot and it works much better, is to sing a single fold-out handle but vertical. So it lifts up and locks. That way you can tip and pour easily without having to get your fingers too close to a hot pot, especially if it just came off of a hot fire. All right, so that's all I wanted to say. Not a lot of, certainly not negative comments, not deal breakers, just a little bit of comments on it here. So um, I will roll in a bit of footage right now of it being used as a oven, and then I'll wrap this video up. Now, if you're going to have an oven, you have to have some kind of a spacer inside. So this is something I've used before. Uh, I have it in different shapes as well. This is a piece of aluminum that's bent into a triangle, which will sit down inside and it's one inch uh, height. So it gives me a lift off of the bottom of one inch. That allows me to place my pot inside. It's going to be a little harder to get out than it was to put in. Put my lid on. That may be too much heat, but I'm going to check it in a few minutes' time and see how it's doing, and uh, I'll bring you back when I go to check it. All right, a few closing thoughts for the Cook and Escape Mountaintop Pot made in titanium. 
overall it's a good pot. It has all the features you would want in one. It has the butterfly handles, it has the bale handle, it has the porous boat, it has the lid, but it's nice that the lid in this case does double as a fry pan. Functional? It is. It actually is. Now I will show you this though of course. If you look at the shape of the lid itself you can see how it is raised in the center a little bit and then there is a I don't know if you call it a gully or a groove around the outside. The only thing I'll say about that is, is when I was using it to fry some eggs on, what I found is that if you put a little bit of oil, and you should put a little bit of oil on top of your lid, it wants to migrate into that groove and you lose the value of the oil. So that's about the only thing I'll say is just if it needs to be quite level if you want the oil to stay on top. Other than that, it's, uh, it works out perfectly. It doesn't have a large capacity, but you can easily get one... Uh, one egg on there, maybe two eggs, but I wouldn't put anything more than that on. You know, of course, burgers or anything else, sausages or anything else you might want to fry on top of a, a pan rather than cook open over an open fire. Yeah, that's about the only thing I would say for it. I will be putting the links for this in the video description so you can take another look at it. And if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.